Hi guys, so this is the second part of our soap battle. It's not really a battle because, I mean, from, I've been here before, but I've never done a video here before, so I wanna show you guys. But the other place, I got a good vibe there, and I've always gotten a good vibe at Buff City also. So I, I have to say that, I mean, I'm not, it's not much of a competition. They're both doing a great job, but let me show you part two, Buff City Soap. Um, and we'll try to figure out kind of who, who's the one you want to maybe try first. Um, they both deserve the business to, to do a category like soap. That's a tough sell right there. So let's go inside and check it out. See that, uh, it's pretty much kind of the same design. And, uh, they got the bath ball. And they got, uh, they're really big on their detergents. And this is where we get our detergent. In fact, hey Tammy, what's the detergent we're getting now? Uh, we're getting Island Nectar. Oh, Island Nectar? We usually get Narcissist, which is really good too. We normally get Narcissist, yeah, which is a, like a fan so favorite. The trick is, you have to tell them yeah. what you want when you make your soap, they'll put your detergent, but you can put in double the soap. And if you bring back your empty container, right. they'll give it to you a dollar off. Okay, now, if I want more scent in my soap... You just tell them two times the scent. Two times the scent? Does like that cost more? No, it doesn't cost more. There's no extra cost. It's two times. Two times. So. Okay. We got, uh, we got our empty containers. Plant-based laundry soap. If you want, they got that. They got a lot of it's stuff. plant-based. I haven't been inside here in a while. What's this? Oh, shower oil. What is that? Shower oil. Shower, shower oil. oil. Yep. Jeez, I'm gonna tell you, my body makes enough oil. I'm trying to get it off my body. But the beard oil's good. That's where I got my beard oil right here. So we get we get our laundry detergent from here. And our soaps. And our soaps. And that's that's the one the scent we're going with for laundry detergent is Island Nectar right yep. there. But they have so many different um, scents. They. They've been here, what would you say, two or three years? Oh, so these two are, years. These are their soap socks. And the other other place, the fact is the soap factory just recently it opened like in the past year. Yeah. So this is their, you put your soap in here and you pull like a drawstring and this is like your loofah and then you hang it. And you use this and your soap just stays in so there. So your bar of soap is inside that mm -hmm. and you scrub your body with that? Yep. yep. And it lathers up good? Yep. All right. What are these lotion bars? What's a lotion know. bar? I have no idea. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing so many things. Is that shower oil up there too? Yeah. More shower oil? Okay. There, there's more shower oil. Wow. We're getting it on with the oil. Not to find out what a, a lotion. Um, a lotion. Oh, it says right here. Hold on, honey. Look. Here we go. Lotion bar. It's a handmade fresh with plant-based ingredients. Mm. Hearing a lot of plant-based, that's making it's me just, nervous. Just, it's another way of saying organic now. I know, but I may want meat in my lotion. You don't want any meat in your lotion, <laughs> stop it. Just kidding. This is their body butter. We use this for our feet. Yeah. It's really good. Their body butter's yeah, good? it's like their lotion. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they've been here. Oh, look, they get the little Coffee. smelling yep. containers so you can refresh your, your nose. And then look at all this. These are all bath. These are physical. These are for your bath. The bath bombs, right? Yes. And these are for yourself. Yeah. And then those are the fizzles or the sizzles or the, yeah, the oh, fizzies. fizzies. They're called fizzies. Bath bombs and fizzies. And they got a whole heat blow. Look at all these. Look at that. Your fizzies. What a beautiful. This is a beautiful display. This looks like a produce display, doesn't it? So these are right here. These are their dry bags. Oh, but you they, guys they, are the dryer balls yeah. because I know these yeah. work for us. They put and we drop, oil in them. And we drop essential oils on our dryer balls. They'll, they'll, pre, they'll redo them for you too for two dollars a ball. Or you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Either way. And then they have soaps here. That so those dryer balls put them in. They put them in static. Mm -hmm. Static. Awesome. And, yep. and these are the foam soaps. Okay, well, I know the soap. one on our kitchen is getting low. Do you want to grab we, one? We have some home. Oh, we have a whole bunch at home. Yeah. Look how beautiful. They've done a great job with their displays. I have to congratulate them on all their displays. They're beautiful. The men's stuff is back here. The what? Men. Oh, they have a men's, men's section too? too. Yeah, the uh, soap factory the had soap men's. 
What is that? What it's is a soap, soap web? web? It's kind of like, um, like it's soap, but it's like not compressed like this. Okay, so I'm once again. I have to be honest in my videos. Soap whips is another way to infuse air, so you don't have as much. That's just my take on it. But it looks beautiful. Yeah. Maybe it does help in some way. I don't know. Well, some people don't want to use the bar soap. They want to use this. It might have more. Uh, yeah. Some people may get irritated by. Or whatever. That's true. Okay. So. Some people may get irritated by the hard bars, so they need to go with a soap web, which would be the same scent but in a softer presentation. That's true. Good point. But look at yeah, like a laundry detergent, laundry, laundry detergent. And every week they have new sales. Like usually the last week of the month they do buy one get one half off of the laundry detergent. Sometimes they'll do six for thirty bars, those type of things. How do I sign up for the sales? Uh, like on Facebook, or or you'll be come in and give them your number, and you'll get uh, text messages every week what their sales are on Tuesday. So and then they really? have, here's the men's area right here. This is all men's right here. Wait, what are those laundry detergents up there for men? These are, no, a, this is so A bad. bath truffle, hold on a minute. Salt. This is cool. This is Epsom salt now, for what salt baths. Epsom salt? Yeah, Epsom wow. salt, folks. They got Epsom salt baths? Yeah. Stuff? Yeah. Interesting, okay. And what is bath truffle? Bath truffle, I don't know what that is. It's a fresh hair. I'm not a... I don't know, guys. If you know what bath truffle oh. is, let me know. And then what's that? And the lotions. What is that a lotion stick over there? Oh yeah, that's, these are all unscented. If you don't want any scents. Yeah, no unscented. They even have unscented section right there. So yeah, but look, you can see the the length of the store. They got a beautiful, a beautiful presentation. Oh, well, here's what a charcoal one. This is from. I'm sure this is mint. What charcoal. is that? Charcoal. Mm. Mmm, I don't know if I want to be barbecue. Okay, these are cool. These are like little sub dishes, right? Mm hmm That's where you put your little... Yeah. Oh, this is called Beast and Breathe. And they get some really cool lavender, which is very popular. And put your soap on the soap dish. And I have one of those in my bathroom right now. All right. It smells really good in here. They even do parties too, so if you want to do like a birthday party here, They'll let you decorate your own truffles or your own bath bombs and everything like that too. And design yeah, your own scents and stuff. Yeah, in the bar. yeah, and they look at the they sit at the bar and they can they can scent while you're waiting. They'll build whatever you need. If you need things done, look at the bake and cut and everything. It's like a little bakery. Just like the soap factory was. They were making this stuff in the back room. Yeah, look like SpongeBob. Okay guys, so Tammy's just chatting it away, but they have nine locations. Mm -hmm. I, That's I mean, really cute. I, now, wasn't this, was this the first or second or what? Um, our franchise, nine? Is, this is his first one. This was the first one. The right. Um, he did buy the two in Murfreesboro, which were older. Right. Um, but he's remodeled. Got it. It doesn't matter whether he built it from the ground, remodeled it, don't matter. They came into existence. Nine. The last time I came here, it was like, I heard one or two. Yeah. That was it. Lot. Okay, guys, this is blowing up. Who would have thought? It's such a niche. It's such a niche, and yet it's a niche they found that's blowing up. Oh, that's how she's making your laundry soap. Okay, this is, this is how she cooks it. She's, she's sending it, she's got her scent, she's got her formula, she's got her recipes, and this is how she does her. Now, is that just for one or two? This is two. That's for two? And you said you worked at every location? I have worked at every location. Wow. Okay, guys, I just got out of the soap place. We got our laundry soap. We got some other things, too, uh, for the house. Um, I'm going to tell you my opinion. I've been to both places. There's two right now. I expect to see more popping up. I mean, when something gets hot like this, people just start popping up with the same idea. So the thing they have in common they have they both have major great selections um they both are very nice i was chatting in there with the people that work here i've never had such good service in a long time okay both soap places soap factory and buff city soap have amazing employees amazing energy they really care about you uh they'll explain whatever you need they'll make whatever you need all right 
The only difference, this has, I felt like this had a wider selection. Um, they both have men's sections. Uh, the one thing Soap Factory had was the essential oils section. Uh, that, that to me is um, a bonus. So uh, both you, you can't miss it with both places. I'm not gonna say anybody won over the Soap Wars, but basically they're both doing great and I wish them both the best business. Please, if you live locally, visit one of the two places and show them your love. Tell them you saw them on the show. Um, I enjoyed both visits. It was great. So we'll be taking you more things around town. Very excited and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.